For example, four. We were not given the triangle again. We weren't given an image, so we're going to have to draw our own triangle. So we'll read the question. The length of one leg of a triangle is 12, and the hypotenuse is 20. So if we'll draw our triangle, we know that one leg is 12. So it could be A or B, either one. I'm going to put 12 here. And we don't know our other leg, so I'm going to label it B. And it said our hypotenuse is 20, which is always C. So now we have our triangle, and now we can plug into our formula. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So if A is 12, we'll plug in 12 for A. 12 squared plus B squared. We don't know what B is, so we'll leave it alone. And then we'll plug in 20 for C, our hypotenuse. So we'll get 20 squared. Again, you can use your calculator to plug these two squares in. So we have 12 squared, 144. And we also have 20 squared. I'm doing both here. We get 400. So 12 squared, 144 plus B squared equals 400. Now, Again, the simple odd rule, whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. So we need to subtract 144 from both sides. Cancels out. 400 minus 144. Again, this is why we have calculators. 400 minus 144. We get 256. So B squared equals 256. Now, remember, 256 is not our answer. We must square root both sides. So whatever we do to one side, we have to do the other. And the squared and the square root cancel out. So we're just left with B equals the square root of 256. Second, square root, 256, enter. Our answer is 16. So the last side of our triangle we found out was 16. C. That's got to be 40. Could you do that with the calculator? Of course you could. But try as much as you can and not have to use it. All right, then here, the answer is not 40 because you have C squared. Remember, you got to always finish by unsquaring this letter with the opposite of squaring, which is square rooting. Square roots and squares, cross off, and then whatever the square root of 40 is, that's what our answer is going to be. Second square root, second square root here, 40. Hit enter. Oh, it says 2 squared to 10. Always check to see if that's an answer choice. Uh, oh, I don't even have answer choices here. So, but 2 squared to 10 could be an answer if that was a multiple choice. But you might want to toggle it into a decimal. So 6.32. Uh, both of those are acceptable answers. Be prepared for either one of them on a multiple choice. All right, example number six. Not example number 18, example number six. Uh, points M, N, and O are plotted on the graph. This is really similar to the last problem, except uh, if you look at the graph, they're actually going 2, 4, 6, 8. That means between any uh, two tick marks, it's actually 2. So let's just go look at what we've got. They want us to find the distance from M to N. Hopefully you can see that's the hypotenuse. So here's O to N, o to N M to N. Oh, I mean, oh yeah, you know what I mean. All right, there we go. I'm going to zoom way in so I can really talk about what's going on here. All right. What is the distance from O to M? Remember, because we're going by twos, this is one, two, three, four, and then it goes halfway down, so that's five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then this one right here, well, that's just over there one, but that's one, two, three. 
And if you're, again, if you're wondering why I'm counting by twos, it's because if you look at our tick marks from here to here, that's two. So it's two, four, six, eight. So it's two, and then halfway is just one, three. All right, and we've got to find, obviously, here this, which is the hypotenuse again. So I'm just going to put that is C. My legs are five and three because they touch the right angle. Hypotenuse is C. It's the thing I want to figure out. They didn't say what's the hypotenuse in the problem. In the problem, they said what is the distance from M to N, but that is the hypotenuse. So let's go 5 squared. Yeah, that's 25, right? Plus 3 squared, which you should know. That's 9 equals C squared. 34 equals C squared. Finish by unsquaring the letter, just like that. Uh, they did say they want it to the nearest tenth, so we really just have to say 5.8, which is our closest answer.